Oh man, y'all, I <laughs> I had a post earlier today in the group about uh, <laughs> I had a post earlier today in the group about um, what you love about yourself. I said, you know, what name one physical thing that you love about yourself, and then you can name another physical thing if you want, or something that's not physical. And I got a lot of responses on that. A lot of people were picking things like hair or eyes or um, something along those lines, maybe their smile for the physical thing, and that was all great. Um, <clears throat> but here's the thing. Remember when I was talking, I was on a, on a run in Victoria, and I was talking about empowering moments. I want you to think about, have you ever walked by the mirror, gotten just a glimpse of yourself walking by the mirror, and actually thought, whoa, hey, I don't look too bad. Like, have, has that ever happened to you? Some of you are like, no, it never happens to me. I try to stay away from mirrors. <laughs> but I bet it's happened to you at least once where you've, you've walked by the mirror and you're like, whoa, hey, hello. Maybe it's a particular thing that you're wearing that day or whatever that looks particularly good on you and you're like, whoa, hey. You know, when you see something like that, when you go catch a glimpse in the mirror and you think, I look actually pretty good, when your brain lets you do that for just a second, let me ask you, does it send you towards junk food and sitting on your butt or does it push you towards, is it one of those empowering moments that pushes you towards another healthy meal, another workout, whatever it is, because you feel good. When you feel good, when you feel empowered, do you go to junk food? Do you go to sit around and skip your workout? Usually no, right? You go to more of the stuff that makes you feel good, right? So here's a crazy idea for you. A very, very crazy idea. And some of you are not going to do this just because it's too crazy. What if you created those empowering moments yourself every single day just by finding something every single day to tell yourself that empowers you? What if you just said, what if you found something to go, oh, hey, I look good today? Or, oh, hey, I'm pretty awesome at this today. Oh, hey, I'm pretty good in this way. What if you just practiced that instead of waiting for that one time out of 20 or that one time out of 100 that you walk by the mirror and you actually like what you see? What if you just created those moments? And I know some of you are like, well, that seems like just fabricate the stuff. And the answer is yes. And the reason is because most of the, the time, those, those moments are there. You're just looking past them at all the bad stuff. You find ways to look at all the bad stuff about yourself instead of all the good stuff. So what if you just flip that on its head and started practicing all of the, talking about all the good things about you? Even if it's your smile or your hair or your eyes and you're not gonna say something good about your arms or your stomach or your legs or your butt, even if you're not going to go there, which I think you should, but even if you're not going to go there, even if you could just talk to yourself about your smile and about your hair and about your eyes and about your personality and about your caring heart and all the other things that I saw in those posts, what if you could just do that as a practice, not randomly when maybe you let yourself, but as a practice every single day, what would happen? Why don't you give it a try? I'm serious. I'm telling you that there is magic in that, and I want you to give it a try. So.